Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix app could not be downloaded due to an error 491 on you know Play Store and this error happens when you try to download or update an app on you know Play Store and I'm gonna show you a couple of methods over here and you can try that out and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not, okay so method one we have is you just need to simply you know restart your phone and go to play store and try to download or update an app okay guys so try this method one and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so you tried you know this method one and it doesn't fix your issue then you can try this method two and in method two you have to clear the cache and data of google play store google play services and guys if you see google services framework download manager then you have to clear their cache and data as well okay so let me show you how you can do that uh, just go to you know the settings of your phone and find your apps or application manager so i have apps over here just tap on it and swipe to the right to all tabs and find here google play store so let me find that so here i have google play store just tap on it and tap on clear data and then tap on ok and uh, you need to go back and find here google play services so here i have google play services just tap on it and then tap on manage space and then tap on clear all data tap on ok and go back and find here google services framework so here i have google services framework just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok as you can see the cache has also been cleared and go back and find here download manager okay so if you see download manager then you have to uh, clear its cache and data as well okay so let me find that so i have download manager just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on okay okay guys so it's now you know done and and guys after that you need to remove your you know google account and re-add it again okay and if you have more than one google account associated uh, then you have to remove every account okay so i'm going to show you how you can do that again uh, you need to go to the settings of your phone and find here you know accounts so here i have accounts just tap on it and then tap on google and then tap on your gmail tap on this you know three dots over here and then tap on remove account remove account again tap on it and after that you need to tap on this add account uh, tap on google as you can see it's checking info enter your email enter your password and then tap on next okay let me type it again and then tap on next Accept the terms of service. Uh, you need to tap over here this little downward arrow link and then tap on next. Uh, you 
you can set up you know payment info if you like but I'm just selecting no thanks I will do it later and then tap on continue okay guys so um, okay so it's starting okay guys so our Google account has been added and after that uh, you need to you know uh, reboot your phone and go to Play Store and try to download or update okay so let's try you know this method too and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not, okay okay guys so you tried you know this method too and it doesn't work for you then you can uh, try this you know method 3 that is uh, you have to uninstall the updates of Google Play Store if you have it okay so just go to the settings of your phone and find your apps or application manager uh, just tap on it and you have to swipe to the right to all tabs and find here a uh, Google Play Store so here I have Google Play Store uh, just tap on it and then tap on uninstall updates uninstall updates all updates to this Android system app will be uninstalled okay just tap on ok and do you want to replace this app with the factory version yes tap on ok as you can see it's uninstalling the updates and it's done okay guys and after that you need to go to you know play store and try to download or update an app okay and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay okay guys so you tried you know this method 3 and it doesn't fix a your issue then you can try this you know method 4 and guys in this method you have to reboot into the recovery mode of your phone and you have to wipe the cache partition and from advanced uh, you have to wipe the Dalvik cache okay so a ways to get into the recovery mode on Samsung I'm gonna you know tell you and if you have other phone then you have to try to find from your manufacturer how to get into the recovery mode they will give you you know the tutorial for that and it's really very simple okay so for Samsung phones uh, you have to you know turn off the device first and then you have to press and hold the volume up power and home buttons until you know you see the Samsung screen now Release the power button but continue to press home and volume up until you are brought to the recovery mode. Okay guys. And after that uh, you need to press the volume down key you know several times to highlight the wipe cache partition. Okay. So let me show you one image. So I have you know this image over here. So let me make it big so that you can you guys can see that. Okay. So you have to, you know, use your volume down key to, you know, highlight the wipe cache partition and you have to, you know, press the power button to select it and it will, you know, wipe your, you know, cache partition. Okay, guys. And, okay. Okay, so after you done, you know, wiping, you know, cache partition, you have to wipe, you know, the Dolby cache and you have to press the volume down key several times to highlight advance okay so let me show you one image i have also okay so you have to you know use your volume down key several times to highlight you know this advanced and you know just use the power button to select it and you will get this menu and you have to highlight you know the wipe dalvik cache uh, using your you know volume down key and just select the power button to select it and just wipe the down with cash okay so let me minimize this and after that uh, you just need to you know reboot your phone go to play store and try to download or update it yes let me correct the spelling of this okay guys so try this you know method you know uh, four and and the methods I, I, I just you know showed you it's working for many people and you can try that out okay and you will definitely fix your error 491 on Play Store, okay, guys 
so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i will catch you in my other tutorials and if this video helps you then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more updates so that's it thanks for watching bye bye take care